Hey guys, this is George Maduro with CCO Waterfront. We're headed down the historic Coral Gables waterway into Coco Plum. We're gonna go check out a Mediterranean home built in 1996. The home needs a little TLC, but it's a great property. It's got great size. Please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll keep bringing you more life on the water from the water here in South Florida. I'm just here to drive. <laughs> We made our way into the community, we're on our way to the house, but you can see there's a lot of idle time, but you absolutely feel like you're in some kind of backwater area and it's really peaceful with a lot of natural wildlife and native landscaping. So I we're pulling up to the house now, what I really like about this location is the wide lagoon. It really changes your views around significantly. You saw us coming in, there was a lot of different canals, where you might feel like you're crowded up on the next home. But this particular location, you can see it's wide open, so it's a much nicer feel yeah. when you're at the back of the house with regards to views and just overall aesthetic. Oh, and protection from the elements also. You get winds, hurricanes, and here you have the room, and these boats probably tied up right in this area are not gonna be affected much or anything at all just from the protection you have from the trees and the mangroves and surrounding houses. So this is really cool here. So the home was built in 1996, got a 50 foot dock. It's six, over 6,000 square feet. You're looking at about 725 a foot. So that is in decent price range with, what's, with the activity that's happening in the community. And privacy is key with a lot of homeowners in these type of communities. You want privacy, this one definitely offers it. So we finally arrived at 208 Costanera, already blown away by the location on this nice wide open lagoon. We're gonna go ahead and check out the house. They're asking $4,950,000. It's a six bedroom, eight and a half baths on a half acre lot with a 50 foot dock. Let's go in and check it out. Guys, we do a little bit differently. We like to start from the rear of the home. We're coming up from the water. That's our theme. So getting back here to the house, we already see to our left here, we have a nice summer kitchen, oh, is which is a really important feature. I'm big into cooking, outdoor cooking. Oh, this, is a, this is the first thing that catches my attention every time. So it's a nice place for entertainment. Wow, look at the size of this grill. Yeah, so Monster after a day on the water grill. to be able to come and recluse back to the home with your pool, and yep. your grill. Just, just imagine important. getting back from a day of fishing, popping in here, being able to get your, your fish, cleaning them up, maybe some lobster, throwing them right on the grill and jumping in the pool. I really like sort of the rear of homes where you kind of create different sitting areas. I like the platform, different areas that you see here. It does have plenty of covered space if you want to get some shade. The pool you could see now at this time of day you got great sunlight. Most of the times with the houses that have this Western exposure to the rear, you kind of bake in the sun as the sun sets to the West. But with this particular home, with these mangroves and the foliage growing, I really like that it is gonna provide that night, that shade as you wanna kind of start to cool down in the afternoon and use your pool. Oh, it's nice, it gives it kind of like a resort feel with, with you know, the house kind of wrapping around the pool area. You can have different seating arrangements here. The Mediterranean style is very popular to South Florida, especially in the 90s and 2000s. And you're really seeing them start to get renovated and bring back that true Mediterranean feel. They're really going over the top with some of the renovations to these. Well, let's continue on. So this home's unoccupied, so it gives us a really good idea of what you can do with the property on your own. It's kind of a blank canvas. This is obviously a house with uh, hosting in mind. We got a really cool wet bar here. That's always nice to have it. So this area here is like Family home. At a push of a button that comes comes out and you're watching TV. You also have a four bathroom here. So a theater room 
is also an important key, I feel like, with the boating life, because we talked about being out on the water, coming back to the pool, and then maybe a nice movie. Also, if you have children, to be able to put them in here and, you know, put Toy Story 2, I've seen it 800 times. You can kind of put them in there and let them do their thing while you're doing your thing right out right on this area. Elevators are great in these two-story homes because it also opens you up to a greater potential buying pool because some people, as you get older, they don't want to have to take stairs with an elevator. Now you can keep that open. Housekeeper's bedroom and bathroom also kitchen. Okay. So the kitchen's nice and tucked away. We do have the gas stove. A lot of people prefer that over the electric. Yeah, and how this is enclosed in here, um, at least from what I've, I've seen, if you're into entertaining and you have you know, people helping out in the kitchen, you can kind of have the work happen here without it being out in the open compared to the open concept, which everything is kind of in the middle of you know, everyone and what they're hanging out. So depending on what you like, this could be a you know, very favorable layout. So there's a walk-in pantry as well. And a service quarters that does have its own in-suite bath as well. I really like the spacing of this home. A lot of times the newer construction, they try to maximize space. Your service quarters become very small. This is a, this is a good service quarters. A nice space out of the way. So this is the dining room off of the formal dining. Yeah, these ceilings are great. These are probably about 20, 25 feet. All the windows here is nice to get you know, that natural light coming in here. This is an inviting area. So now we're to the entry of the home. What it immediately jumps out at me as we enter through the front doors, you do have a beautiful view of the rear of the home, the pool. You can have, you have some little vista through the mangroves back there. So that's always nice to be greeted with that feeling of the waterfront already. Mm -hmm. And these are your front doors right here. So this is, you know, we were saying, first thing you see is this view of the pool, tons of windows, open area, really tall ceilings. They could use a little love, but what you're looking for are the bones, you know, does it have the right structure, the layout that you like, and is the area what you're looking for. And you know, this, this house offers plenty of that. So a few minor touches and you'll, you'll be uh, in very good shape from what it looks like so far. Speaking on that, Alan, I think Coco Plum, you're seeing the average price per square foot at about $550 a foot. And that is kind of lagging behind some other waterfront areas that are hitting records. And the reason being is that there hasn't been a lot of turnover of new construction yet or completely renovated homes. And when you see that, we're starting to see sale prices in the 250, I mean 750 to maybe even a thousand per square foot. So when we come in and look at these houses, we want to make sure that it has the, the potential to be one of those top tier properties. And when you look at the setting on the lagoon and you look at the spacing here, the high ceilings, that grand feel and the location as we see the front, it definitely has the potential to get to that price point. And I think you're purchasing at a price point that leaves some room for that. So there appears to be two bedrooms on the first floor. And this one is absolutely huge. To have uh, a first floor bedroom so big, I almost thought it was the master bedroom. So that's a nice feature. When you have guests, they can just come in and out right through the rear door here, the French doors. So this is a great room for your guests with the full bath. So upstairs is master plus three additional bedrooms and suites. Well, Dan, you say I, I work quite a bit of time in the uh, tile and marble industry with my father. They definitely have nice marble material throughout this stuff, you know, with, uh, with a little loving care, a little polishing, and some uh, sealer possibly. You know, you can make this stuff look brand new. That's a convenient feature. So we have laundry. a second laundry room here and on the, the second floor. Right next to the... So this is the master? With a fireplace? With a fireplace. Wow, look at this. So they've extended the fireplace to the second floor. Believe it or not, there are some cold days here in Miami. This morning was possibly one of them where you could potentially use it. What's nice about this one, I noticed it feels almost like a penthouse condo master bedroom. You have all, you know, windows throughout, you're seeing views of the water, you're seeing the pool. Um, and it, I guess your bed is, is butting up against this one wall here. So you know, you're waking up to the views. First thing you see is the water. 
really nice, but you still have protection from the mangroves from the trees, so people aren't, you know, staring into your bedroom. So this is more, it's a master suite. I really like this sitting area off the side bedroom. You could have your, if you have a toddler that you want to make sure the baby's close to you guys as they sleep. This is a great room, a potential office out overlooking the water. There's a lot of different uses you can get out of this space here. As we get to the closet space here, very important and many builders miss it, but it's so important to have his and her closets and then his and her sinks as well. I like this enclosed floor to ceiling glass with the shower and you have your spa here. And you have balconies in every corner of the home, even here off the bathroom, you're able to. Beautiful day. Another great size bedroom. That's a, that's a very important feature of this home. Yeah. So this, again, we have the full shower with a spa, nice size walk-in closets. That is a good, good feature of these homes built in the 80s and 90s. They definitely have great large living space. How many air conditioners does the house have? Four. Four? It actually was a car collector that designed the home. That's why you have that extra yeah. room back there where you can drive the cars down. And then you're, yeah, and then to be able to. You have like your own little, you know, space back here for your cars. Yeah, we established earlier, it's a great hosting house. So to be able to pull the cars back here yeah. is definitely a plus. So this is life on the water from the water, but the front of the home is also very important. Again, talking about location, I love this location within Coco Plum that you're on this cul-de-sac. It's nice and private back here. With regards to the subject property, I like this feeling. Again, we talk about it does need some, some love and care, but it's got great potential. I like that grand staircase. It gives it that elevated grand feel as we walk up. You know, a house like this, this Mediterranean style, if you agree, um, does have a nice layout, excellent position if you're into privacy with this cul-de-sac. You're not going to have anyone driving here that doesn't live in one of these houses or are going to come visit you. And something like that is something, a home that needs a little bit of work, a little bit of love, a few upgrades, just depends how far you want to go with it. But it definitely has, you know, the right bones um, to be able to work from. It's just you know, if it's your style or not. And most importantly, is it priced at the point which maybe you can get into that uh, to make it worth it? Yeah, they, you know, with the Mediterranean style, I think it is quite popular here in South Florida. It's always been, um, but I think it's important to kind of really go over the top with it. Like you said, like we were talking earlier, some of these Mediterranean houses you see now where they refurbish them, you kind of feel like you're in the Mediterranean. So you really got to got to replicate that feel. And with regards to pricing, we are at a $700 per square foot price point. You would hope because of the positioning of the water, um, because of the great living spaces, after you came in and did that renovation, you would definitely want to be up in that thousand 
per square foot range, which we are seeing in other neighborhoods. We just have to see Coco Plum have a little more turnover with regards to homes that are renovated or homes that are built brand new. So that's $700 a square foot is what it's listed at right now? Correct. Does that feel like it's where you feel it's at the right position or is it at a position? It's fair. Maybe... I think the, the average for the community is, is in the high 500s. But again, I don't think this is an average property where it sits. I think you got that lagoon feature, which is excellent. So I think those are the kind of things that set it a tier apart. Okay. And when we talk about values, we kind of range them from one to five, five being the highest. And I think this has the potential to get into that area. And if you did want to go so far um, as to maybe changing the style, I do see it has a lot of features that you could make it a little more of a modern contemporary home. You would probably have a darker kind of aluminum roof. You can change the railings. There's different things that you could do to, to give yeah. it a, a different style. The home needs a little TLC, but it's a great property. It's got great size. Please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll keep bringing you more life on the water from the water here in South Florida.